So many people looking for some sort of relief from the seasonal allergies. I'm Victoria Dunkel. Coming up live, we're going to take a look at something that's been working for folks in Europe for hundreds of years, salt therapy. The early arrival of spring brought an early arrival of allergy season. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is streaming live from Asheville with a look at a treatment that has been helping people in Europe for more than 100 years. So, Victoria, what is it? Well, it's actually spending time with salt, Holly. I mean, I know you and I have both been grumbling about our sinus allergies and the fact that everything out there looks yellow with all the pollen on it. It is frustrating for so many people, especially those who don't usually have allergies. Well, this is a process called salt therapy, and it's actually got and received its start in the salt caves in Eastern Europe. And Ines Clark, actually, you, that was what you grew up with when you were little. That's what, you know, your mom would say, gargle with salt and have some salt therapy because when you were growing up in Germany that was just the normal thing to do right yes it whereas is. sometimes we run and grab something over the counter and hope for the best yes. so what happens when we turn to salt as a treatment well salt is uh, proven or has been researched uh, to be antibacterial and anti-inflammatory okay so when you do salt therapy salt is helping to clean or help to uh, relieve the inflammation that's going on in the yeah. The generator, which is the heart of the salt therapy. This is the machine that, that makes it happen. The machine that is making happen. I feed it with uh, with salt first. I turn it on, and then I feed it with salt. And, and it's going to pulverize that kind of right, yes, and then the put machine, it into the air. That's what it does. How about in our next segment, we go into the room that's got tons of salt all over it and see what happens when this starts to go into the air over there. That sound, sound like a plan? Yes. Okay, we're going to go into the salt room next in our next half hour. Monday. It actually offers a little bit of hope for folks who suffer from allergies because um, the, the idea is that after the rainiest, heaviest rain days is actually a good time or a safer time for us to get out there. But you know what? We can't just live our lives if you have allergies only on the days after it rains. You have to be out there all the time. So you need to find different ways for relief. And some people aren't really looking to load up on medication. Well, there are some natural options. Um, neti pots, you know, those those are a little bit portable. Well, I think I've come into what you could see here is a room full of a saline-type solution, if you will. There's no water involved here, just pure Himalayan salt, and it is coating the walls, the floor. I'm standing on Himalayan salt bricks, and this is where Ines Clark is uh, offering her therapy because you grew up in Eastern Europe, in Germany, and that's where they have salt caves, and this was something they've been doing for 200 years. Yes. In our last segment, we started pumping the salt in here, the Himalayan salt. Can you show us what's happening? This is the generator for the room, right? Yes, this is the generator, and uh, the generator is blowing one to five oh, okay. micron size particles, so dry salt particles, into the room, and you can see it here when I hold the flashlight. Yeah. And it's supplying the salt room with these particles, and people sit here for 45 minutes at a time and breathe in the salt and because it's so small it goes deep into your lungs and what's it going to do in there though well it's acting like a toothbrush actually it uh, salt is cleansing <laughs> the airways and uh, works on the inflammation that's in there and we have those little hairs called cilias in there and often with uh, asthma and allergies and uh, pulmonary diseases they are stuck and they can't move and they help to get out but shouldn't be in our airways oh. and so the salt will help to move them again and so that this will help to cleanse the airways that's how it works very interesting we're going to be finding out for some people who are taking part in this salt therapy if it really works how it's impacted them and how it makes them feel i can tell you if nothing else just getting an excuse to come into a room that looks like this and sit for 45 minutes uninterrupted well, that sounds like a great way to relax to me, too. But yes, we're going to be Ms. Clark, you uh, say this works for a variety of types of health concerns, and it has its history in Eastern Europe in the salt caves, right? Yes, it does. Who can it help? Well, people with respiratory um, issues have the best benefit of salt therapy. Mm -hmm. Asthma is one of the uh, diseases that uh, people that have asthma suffer from it have good results in the salt room and it's the repetition of salt therapies that makes it really really good for people to get relief from the symptoms and uh, other sinus issues sinus uh, infections ear infections bronchitis all kinds of respiratory issues because the salt works to kind of loosen up the mucus and the things that make it hard to breathe and make you miserable and and heck actually kind of found out about this when you 
your daughter started showing the signs of, of suffering from one of those nagging nighttime coughs. As parents, it's so frustrating because the kids aren't getting good rest and they're miserable. Yes, I found out about the salt spa right around the time that my daughter was having several weeks of coughing at night and um, took her in for two to three visits and it was completely gone. And okay, and you were telling me this because a lot of people were so miserable. I can't tell you how many of my friends were telling this that they had the walking pneumonia, the bronchitis and so on. How was your health over the winter? I had great health. I didn't get sick at all this winter. And what's it like coming in here? They, we, sh we saw how they released the salt into the air. What's it like to be in the room? It's really relaxing and rejuvenating, and I usually just come in and meditate, and it makes me feel great. But it's only been something that's been in the United States roughly about six years. Still very new to us, but centuries old in Europe. The salt spa therapy. Very interesting. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to meet someone who is dealing with chronic asthma and allergy issues and find out what is working for her to get relief as we uh, try to find just a way to make it through with a sigh of relief and breathing easy. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Well, you know, there are a lot of people who are looking for either ways to augment the medicines that their allergists put them on or maybe even go a more natural approach. There's neti pods, there's other types of, you know, breathing therapies, including this salt therapy. We're in the Himalayan salt room here at Asheville Salt Spa, or Salt Spa of Asheville. And I was talking to Emily, and you actually have been coming here for treatment of both allergies and asthma, right? Yes. What kind of relief have you had? I feel like I sleep a lot better when I come for a session, uh, and it just helps to clear my, my asthma. What does it feel like when you're breathing it in? Uh, it feels... Um, for one, it's really relaxing, so I enjoy the time that I spend in here, and I feel like it just loosens stuff that needs to come out so that I can breathe better. Very interesting. Now, Ines Clark is the owner here, and one question I had for you was that, you know, some people are questioning this, and they're saying, you know, they wonder just how efficient this is. Uh, some scientists have even said that the saline treatments, where the salt is added to a water solution, are better than this, but what have you found from your personal experience and your research on this? Well, I... Um I wish there would be more research um, done here in the United States. I, w I have to say that the results that we see here with the dry salt um, therapy is um, phenomenal. And uh, I would invite him to uh, read the studies that have been done, mm -hmm. the medical studies that have been done in Europe. And ultimately, it's about trying it out. Um, but do your homework. Do your research and figure out what may work best for you. Whatever it is, we wish you relief from the allergy and asthma season. Reporting live in Asheville, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.